Yo, what's good? It's your boy PB3G, and the DC Universe is back after last week's announcement of Chapter 1 of the first slate of DC Universe TV and movies. Green Lantern was among them. The Green Lantern TV series was finally announced. We've been waiting for some Green Lantern content for years now, ever since it was announced back in, what, 2016 of the original DCEU slate? So now they're finally pulling the gun on the Green Lantern show. I'm going to talk about that, read the article from comicbook.com explaining some of that. And I'm going to give my overall thoughts at the end. I just want to say that I'm super hyped for Green Lantern. It's my second most anticipated project after Batman Brave and the Bold. So I hope they do a lot with this show. But let's get into what comicbook.com is saying now. Last week, DC Studios co-chairs James Gunn and Peter Safran announced Lanterns, an Earth-set series on HBO Max that is part of the first chapter of their new DC Universe titled Gods and Monsters. In this terrestrial-based true detective-type mystery, the Power Ring-wielding warriors will investigate a whodunit tying into an overarching story across film and television. Lanterns leads into the overall story that we're telling throughout the different movies and television shows gun said during dc slate presentation we find this ancient horror on earth and these guys are basically super cops on precinct earth jordan and stewart are among the corpsmen serving the guardians of the universe and an, an ancient alien race who supervises the peaks keeping police force they created on planet oa but in Lanterns, the Green Lanterns of Earth's sp space sector will unravel a mystery on their own planet that plays a big role in a story that could cross over with others announced projects like the live action feature film Superman Legacy and Supergirl Woman of Tomorrow and Swamp Thing. The story is going to weave back and forth between the films and the television shows, explains Safran. Peacemaker is a good example of how that works, and that's what we're going to do with this big overarching story that we're telling. Safran added, Lanterns is a very important show for us and a revamped version of the since-canceled Green Lantern TV series that was in the works at the streamer from prolific Arrowverse producer Greg Berlanti. Gun and Safran series is inspired in part by the Sinestro's Law arc started in 2016, Hal Jordan and the Green Lantern Corps re re Rebirth One Shot, and Hal Jordan and the Green Lantern Corps issues number one through seven, which saw the tyrannical Sinestro and his Yellow Lanterns impose their rule over the universe. Lanterns is part of a slate that includes five live action feature films, Superman Legacy, The Authority, Batman Brave and the Bold, Supergirl Woman of Tomorrow, Swamp Thing, and five HBO Max series, Creature, Commandos, Waller, Booster Gold, and Paradise Lost. While Creature, Commandos, and Waller will hit the service first, Gunn and Safran have confirmed Superman Legacy will mark the official start of the rebooted DC, T uh, DC Universe. So that's what's being said about the Green Lantern Corps uh, TV series. It's going to feature John and Hal as the main lanterns. I've heard that Hal will be training John, which will be great to see. And they're comparing it to True Detective. Now, the previous TV series or movie, Green, uh, Green Lantern movie that was announced before the James Gunn, Peter Safran takeover, they kind of compared it to uh, Lethal Weapon. You know, that was what they were going with. They were comparing the Green Lantern Corps movie to a Lethal Weapon style movie, which I loved. I loved that idea. But now they're comparing it, uh, the, at least this TV show, to more like True Detective. Now, I never finished season one of True Detective. I know, I know that was a big show, but I just never, I got to finish it just to get a feel of what they're talking about. Never finished the first season. But I love how whatever overarching villain that's going to be play a part in the DC universe will presumably get will get our first clues or hints of that in this Green Lantern TV series. And I love, love, love that they're starting off with Hal and John. That's like the, the best two to start with. I know the last the last project, I think it was supposed to be like Alan Scott and Guy Gardner. And it's like, bro, we got to. We can't start off with those two. I know there's they have their fans. People love them, particularly Guy Gardner. People really love. Let's start off with Hal and John and work our way towards that. You know, Guy Gardner should be around because if I'm not mistaken, Guy Gardner is the second Green Lantern and then it's John. So Guy Gardner probably will be around. But 
You guys let me know in the comment section below, how do you feel about this? Do you think the Green Lantern Project should have been a movie first and then a TV show? I'm sure there's going to be a movie for the Green Lanterns around the corner. They're just going to start off with a TV series. If you don't know, when it comes to comic book projects, I prefer TV series. It, it, it's just longer. You get more character development, stuff like that. So I'm not mad at a Green Lantern TV series. You guys let me know in the comment section below what you think about the Green Lantern Project and the overall DC slate chapter one gods and monsters let me know what you think about that slate uh check out my fantastic four video that did a huge leak on some castings supposedly ryan gosling and keanu reeves are joining the uh the cast of fantastic four the movie for the mcu so go watch that video and find out who they are playing it's very interesting Check out that video, subscribe to the channel, comment down here, follow me on all social medias, they'll be in my, the link for those will be in my description in my comment section. It's your boy PB3G, I holla, gang.